It's 1953. President Eisenhower is sworn into office. A new pickup costs less than $1,800. And Channel 10 signs on the air, the beginning of many firsts. Channel 10 pioneered the use of aircraft, and you had an eye in the sky. Channel 10 brought you the satellite age, taking you anywhere news happened. I'm Bob Bruce. At today's 10, we continue that tradition as your first and only 24-hour news station. Our commitment to news and to you means today's 10 is still where the news comes first. Play and win. Classic rock trivia. Weeknights on the Channel 10 News at 10. From today's 10. Linda Williams. Jim Schneebelt with weather. J.D. Hayward with sports. This is the Channel 10 News. With his patented Shaq attack, Shaquille O'Neal brings today's Suns Orlando game to a slamming, jamming halt. Good evening, I'm Linda Williams. That unusual sight tops our news tonight. At this afternoon's game, the Suns walked away the winners once again, hooray. But Orlando Magic rookie Shaquille O'Neal pulled quite a remarkable play today. J.D. Hayworth joins us with details on that. Linda, it's not too far-fetched to say that this particular highlight will show up on everybody's everywhere. highlight zone It'll be everywhere. from here to eternity. <laughs> Let me tell you, Shaquille O'Neal, a rookie and a superstar, really pulled a magic trick because he made the basket disappear. Take another look at what happens when a 7'1", 300-pound guy grabs the rim too long. Timber! Down comes the basket. No shattered glass, but a 35-minute delay while another goal is wheeled into place. And after the Suns take a 16-point victory, that broken basket becomes the topic of conversation. You know, we were ready for anything today except a shack attack on the backboard. That's really what happened. We had an extra backboard, we had an extra ring, but we did not have an extra standard uh, ready to go. I just went up and dunked it, you know, then came down. Shaquille explains the laws of physics and gravity. Went up, slammed it, came down, but it was a sight very interesting to see, and we will have more interesting sights and happy sights if you're a Suns fan a little bit later on in sports. Well, as long as the Suns won, it was hilarious. I don't know how funny it would have been if they had lost to mm -hmm. the Magic. Thanks a lot, J.D. We'll see you in sports. There were a few unusual things about today's game. We've told you about some of them already. There was another oddity, however. One is that it was an afternoon game, and that transformed downtown Phoenix from calm to chaos. The crowd was following the Suns on the move. Reporter Lisa Allen has the story. Sundays downtown, normally quiet, often even a little on the dull side, except today at the America West Arena. And if you were looking for action today, the America West Arena was the only place downtown you would find it. Woo! Sky's the limit, Phoenix Suns are going to win it. The afternoon game brought out the usual sights associated with the number one basketball team in the country. They're selling extra tickets. But today, what really seemed to draw the crowds even more than the Suns was some guy with a really weird name. Beat the Shaq. Shaq on his back. Yeah. We're going to dust him. Oh, yeah? We're going to have a great time with Shaq. Tyler's going to shave his head and they're going to look like twins. Barkley's going to huff and puff and he's going to blow Shaq's house down. I can spell it too, S-H-A-Q-U-I-L-L-E. After the blowout, the excitement continued downtown. Where else? But at the new hotspot, Phoenix Suns' Dan Marley's Bar and Grill. In Phoenix, I'm Lisa Allen, Channel 10 News. The next time the downtown crowds will gather for the Suns game will be the Clippers game Wednesday night at the America West Arena. The world will never experience another sportsman like Arthur Ashe. Those words were spoken emotionally today by Ashe's friend and attorney, Donald Dell. Ashe died yesterday afternoon in a New York hospital from AIDS-related pneumonia. The world mourns Ashe not only as a tennis champion, but as a champion of human rights and the rights of people with AIDS. The 49-year-old tennis great had taped a message to an AIDS conference he was to attend this weekend before he became ill. AIDS patients are not to be pitied. None of us want pity. We do want compassion. We do want understanding. Arthur was the ultimate competitor in tennis and in life, said Jeannie Ash. He fought hard on the last days of his life. And even though he lost his battle, as in his tennis days, it was how he played the game that mattered. 
what I don't want. Arthur Ashe's funeral will be held in his hometown of Richmond, Virginia, later this week. The death of Arthur Ashe from AIDS renews AIDS fear among the public, and some believe Ashe's lost battle could have even larger repercussions. Carol Archer joins us now live in the newsroom to explain. Carol? Well, Linda, when actor Rock Hudson died several years ago from an AIDS-related illness, many people became confused about how the virus was transmitted and stopped donating blood, seriously damaging the nation's blood supply. And tonight, many are wondering just what effect Ashe's death may have. Arthur Ashe seemed to be able to beat all the odds. A great black tennis player in a predominantly white sport. But when he came to acquired immune deficiency, he, like thousands of others, couldn't beat the statistics. In 1992, more than 160,000 people died from AIDS-related illnesses. Close to 250,000 are infected in this country. Worldwide, half a million cases have been reported. Some believe Ashe's death serve to bring those statistics home. I think people have a tendency to look and say, gee, this isn't just getting the virus, this is succumbing to the virus. This is more serious than, than maybe we thought it was, and maybe I need to go back and take a look at this particular incident or that particular incident that happened a few years ago, and if I haven't been tested to the virus, I better go find out. While some think the tennis great's death may cause more people to get tested for the virus, others fear it may confuse and scare away blood donors. Our first concern would be that people understand the difference between donating blood and receiving blood. So there is no risk to the person that gives blood. As far as receiving blood, the risk of HIV in the blood supply today in this country is very, very low. So low that since 1985, when the blood began to be routinely tested for the AIDS virus, not one case has been reported in Arizona of AIDS being acquired from contaminated blood. Now, if you need more information about AIDS or about testing for the virus, you can call the AIDS hotline. That is 234-2752. Linda? Carol, thank you very much. In other news, a body is found, and tonight Maricopa County Sheriff's deputies try to piece together clues to this murder. Investigators say the victim is a man in his 40s who was apparently shot to death. A horseback rider found the body last night in an Avondale field near 107th Avenue and Southern. At this point, authorities are not releasing the victim's name. Phoenix police say a jogger found the body of a man today who was apparently killed in a motorcycle accident. Investigators say 28-year-old Michael Science of Glendale was killed when his motorcycle hit an earthen berm near 6th Street in Beardsley. He was thrown from his motorcycle. Also today, a 39-year-old man dies after a collision involving a Phoenix fire truck late last night. The victim, Anselmo Castanon, died of cardiac arrest this morning. Castanon crossed the center line and struck the fire truck, causing it to rear-end another car. Big storm brewing, big storm moving into Arizona, and already a standby flash flood watch has been issued for our entire state. Let's check with meteorologist Jim Schneebelt for details. Jim. Linda, the storm clouds are rolling in. This was the scene in Phoenix about an hour ago. You can see dark clouds rolling in from the west. We almost made it through the weekend without any rain, but already some light showers developing throughout central Arizona. Show you the radar. You can see some scattered light showers mainly to the west and northwest of Phoenix. Also down toward Tucson. A report from Wickenburg of some rain there already and the rain just beginning. It looks as though the heaviest rain will be in here during the day on Monday. That's tomorrow. So the flash flood watch is is in effect for the entire state for Monday and Monday night. I'll be back in a few minutes with all the details on the five-day outlook. We'll see you then. Thanks, Jim. Straight ahead on the Channel 10 News at 6, a Bengal tiger visits the dentist. We'll tell you about that a little later. And a look at the drug war heating up on the Arizona-Mexico border. Stay with us. Get Oldsmobile. Get going to Big Two Oldsmobile in Mesa, where the Phoenix Open courtesy cars have arrived in limited numbers, but they won't last long. Lon and Chris Hoy's Big Two Oldsmobile, conveniently located just blocks from Fiesta Mall on Alma School in Mesa. Get happy. Get going to Big Two Used Cars in Mesa, where buying a used car is still just plain fun. Because there's no hassle, just great people and great deals. At Lon and Chris Hoy's Big Two Used Cars, conveniently located just blocks from Fiesta Mall on Main in Mesa. Welcome to Sun Lakes. 
Arizona's finest master plan adult community, featuring $20 million in recreational amenities, including 54 holes of golf, two clubhouses, tennis, and swimming. Experience our great beauty, great friends, and great value. Come see Sun Lakes Country Clubs by Ropes and Communities. A great life for active adults. I-10 South to Riggs Road. What's better about Wendy's 99 cent super value menu? A better food. Right, quality. How about the chili? Wendy's rich and meaty chili. Uh, lots of choices. Variety and? Chili. Right, that chili. Really great fries. Ah, yes, Biggie fries. Did someone say chili? I believe so. Do I know you? With Wendy's 99 cent super value menu, you don't pay more. You just get more every day. Like Wendy's 99 cent quarter pound double stack with cheese. A quarter pound of beef piled high with fresh fixins. Just one of the 99 cent items you'll find every day on Wendy's super value menu. Come and belong to a world apart, where tall mountains rise to meet a sapphire sky and the untouched desert blooms with life. Such a world is Rio Verde, with two golf courses, beautiful homes, home sites, and so much more. Yet just minutes from all the pleasures of Scottsdale. Rio Verde, for adult living as active as you are. Nogales, Arizona is just over two and a half hours south of the valley on the U.S.-Mexican border. It is the front line of the war on drugs. Bob Bruce joins us now to tell us just what, just what is happening down on the border. Well, you know, Linda, a lot of people would be surprised to hear that the Nogales area is the most active spot on the entire U.S.-Mexican border for drug smuggling. Tomorrow night at 5 and 10, we'll meet some of the men and women who do their best to make sure smugglers are busted on the border. We here in Arizona catch more marijuana than any other sector. And in one year, more cocaine than any other sector. Every day, there is a constant flow of drugs into our state along the border. Stopping that flow of drugs is a very dangerous job. The danger is 50%. You know, so either you're in it or you're not. We will take you for a ride on one of the most sophisticated weapons in the war on drugs, the U.S. Customs Black Hawk helicopter. It is indeed very frightening on the border, especially at night. You'll see for yourself. Tomorrow night at 5, we will climb aboard one of those Black Hawk helicopters and take an incredible ride through the desert. And then tomorrow night at 10 o'clock, we'll go into the night with U.S. Border Patrol and see how they perform their job in the blackness of night. It was very difficult for us to photograph a lot of what they did because there's no light, so we use special night vision goggles to photograph a lot of it. It is, it is frightening out there. Yeah, I bet they've got high-tech equipment. We need high-tech to shoot their high-tech. And the Drug smugglers have high-tech equipment as well. That's amazing. Thanks. We'll look forward to the series. Thanks a lot, Bob. Well, there's a multi-million dollar winner out there somewhere. Congratulations. Arizona lottery officials say one winning ticket matches the numbers drawn last night. The winner gets the entire jackpot, $7.3 million. In case you're the new millionaire, the numbers are 8, 12, 14, 21, 27, and 42. We told you earlier a storm is heading into the state. When we come back, Jim Schneebelt will take a closer look at that storm brewing and what other temperatures we can expect in the week ahead. Great seats. Comfy, huh? Yes, ma'am. Good, because you weren't last night. When? When you were constipated. What? I think they had you in mind when they came out with these new Phillips gel caps. Mother. Introducing Philips Gel Caps, laxative plus stool softener. Now trusted relief is yours in an easy to swallow Philips Gel Cap. We didn't have gel caps when I was your age. <laughs> what did you talk about? New Philips Laxative Gel Caps, the modern answer to an age old problem. Hello, I'm Lou Grubb. People have told us time and time again that there's always been a pleasant difference when they shop at Lou Grubb Hyundai Suzuki. But now we've made it even better. When you walk into our place, you'll see this Lou Grubb price sticker on every vehicle we have. Find a car, check the sticker, and that's the low price you'll pay, period. Now, it's even more pleasant to shop at Lou Grubb Hyundai Suzuki.
Robeson Communities, the builders of Sun Lakes, invite you to the grand opening of the West Valley's newest active adult community, Pebble Creek Golf Resort. Like Sun Lakes, Pebble Creek will offer the most desirable lifestyle and value. Come to our 10 beautiful model homes and take advantage of our grand opening prices. Come see the best of the future today. Pebble Creek Golf Resort. Take I-10 West to exit 126. So, how are you doing? I'm okay. You don't have to worry. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at these cards. At a time like this, you'd better feel confident you picked the right doctor. And this is from the boys, but who has so the time or the know-how to shop for a doctor? You know, I'll be here when you wake up. You don't consider ten doctors before you choose one. But we do. Oh, great. You staying all night? Oh, honey. <laughs> Well, no one really wants to see any more rain after all that rain we had last month, but it shouldn't be as bad as that. Just one little storm. That's or one right. One big storm. Well, that's right. One day's worth of rain, maybe into Tuesday a little bit, but uh, certainly not 15 straight days of rain like we had in January. And we've had about three weeks to dry out. To dry out, so yeah. the ground no longer saturated. But uh, if we do get some heavy rain in the Phoenix area tomorrow, there could be some street flooding for a few hours. It doesn't as though, it appear as though the reservoirs are at the kind of risk they were at three weeks ago, though. Let's check out the numbers. 77 for the high today, uh, 75 for the high today, excuse me, 55 for the low this morning. Normals are 69 and 44, and the record's 89 and 24. Right now, the temperature 71 degrees, wind out of the southeast at 3. The relative humidity, 26%, the dew point 35. Rainfall above normal for the year, and the barometer steady at 29.85 inches of mercury. Air quality index a little bit better today. Carbon monoxide in the moderate range at 62. Ozone once again good at 41. Right to the radar once again, a few light showers already developing throughout central Arizona, and uh, it looks as though we will see some mainly light showers tonight. The real heavy rain is not expected in here until Monday, and it will be coming in from the west. This is the satellite photo. You can see the solid band of clouds all up and down the California coast stretching offshore. There is a cold front moving in that's triggering all of this. You can see the cold front just now approaching the coast of California. That's moving our direction. As that heads toward Arizona, that will kick off some heavy rains mainly on Monday, and uh, there is a flash flood watch in effect for the entire state throughout the day on Monday. It's a fairly warm storm system. The snow level will start out quite high on Monday. Snow above the 8,000 foot level, all the other elevations lower will see rain. And then by Tuesday, after that cold front comes through, we will see some slightly cooler air and the snow level will come down perhaps as low as 5,500 feet by early Tuesday. Mainly a rain system though as it works its way in and mainly for Monday and early Tuesday. The National Weather Service predicting anywhere from three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half of rain in Phoenix and perhaps as much as three inches of rain in the central mountains of Arizona as this system passes on through. The only other storm system on the map tonight is the one in the southeast. Some heavy thunderstorms throughout Georgia and South Carolina. And you can see on radar here the rain moving into California. You can see rain from uh, northern California all the way down south of L.A. And if you were watching the golf tournament at Pebble Beach today, you saw some heavy rain there as well. Here are the high temperatures around the nation today. Cool in the Midwest and the Great Lakes, fairly mild throughout much of the South. Forecast lows for us tonight, fairly mild. Highs tomorrow, not quite as warm. In fact, probably a cloudy, rainy, and slightly cooler day throughout the state. In Phoenix tonight, scattered showers, the low 58. Tomorrow, a flash flood watch. Some heavy rain possible, the high near 70. And for Tuesday, partly cloudy, breezy, the high 67, the low 55. Clearing out by midweek, though, 65 Wednesday, 68 Thursday, and then back up into the 70s on Friday with morning lows also warming slightly by the latter part of the week as well. But that flash flood watch for the entire state all day Monday into early Monday night, maybe some heavy rain. Tough Monday on the way. Right. Thanks a lot, Jim. Ahead in sports, not exactly a field of dreams, but a baseball dream game. And will this be the year that the Suns dream of an NBA title comes true? J.D. has more on this afternoon's game at the arena when we come back. It's time to rebuild your dream home with Sunvex Home Improvement Extravaganza. Whether it's a major kitchen or bath remodel or a complete room addition, the experts at Sunvex can handle it. Complete your dream kitchen with Corian countertops or let the sun shine in with Anderson windows. Sunvex in-house credit department makes financing a snap or you can open a Sunvex revolving charge account. Turn your house into your dream home with a home improvement extravaganza. Sunvex, we 
take care of you. Introducing the biggest prescription news in years. Smitty's Pharmacy has slashed prices on hundreds of prescription items. Yes, Smitty's will beat the price of any pharmacy or your prescription is free. No pharmacy in Arizona can beat our prices. Smitty's guarantees it or it's free. Now, get big savings on prescriptions and the lowest prices guaranteed. Smitty's Pharmacy. If you're not getting the lowest prescription prices, switch to Smitty's. I remember thinking, I'm a healthy woman. This can't be a heart attack. Almost half the people who die from heart disease are women. I waited till the pain was pretty bad. I should have gone in sooner. If you have chest pain, Go immediately to your nearest emergency center or call 911. Samaritan hospitals now with chest pain emergency centers have more experience caring for heart patients than any other healthcare organization in Arizona. 25 years ago, a big celebrity came to Lake Edna. KFC is commemorating that day with the amazing Founders Family Feast, a meal for four featuring a free apple pie. Now when you buy 10 pieces of original recipe, large mashed potatoes with gravy, large coleslaw, and four biscuits, for a limited time, you'll get a whole apple pie absolutely free. The KFC Founders Family Feast. A feast fit for a king or a colonel. We do chicken right. When the person who doctors the family gets a cough and cold, everyone suffers. Mom, someone took my sleeve. I earned it myself. Time to doctor that cough with Robitussin, because more doctors and pharmacists recommend Robitussin than any other cough medicine. Look, Mom's feeling better. Uh-oh. Robitussin, recommended by Dr. Mom. Which Robitussin is right for you? Ask your doctor or pharmacist. And also try Robitussin cough drops. Cough drops from the cough experts. J.D. Hayworth's flag-waving again. But I've got a good excuse today, Linda. A young fan by the name of Jonathan Shaw brought us this flag, and I'm going to give it to you. Thank you, J.D., and thank you, Jonathan. Yeah. Now I can wait. The silver anniversary season of the Suns. Ought to be a good one, huh? No it's going kidding. Good it's so exciting. Far. We can call the Suns win this afternoon magical. After all, it comes at the expense of the Orlando Magic, and it features some abracadabra acrobatics from Richard Dumas. But early on, there is young Mr. Shaquille O'Neal. We showed it to you once before, but it's worth at least a third look, isn't it? Pull down the basket, Shaquille, and Shaquille does. And it took 35 minutes once this standard in the basket was broken. They have to bring out a new one. Everybody goes off to try and relax. They get back into it. Barkley to Richard Dumas. The Dumas dunk. Suns by two. Tied at 50 at the half. Later, look at Shaq with the move in the alley-oop. Orlando by four. KJ on a mission. Drives and scores. Suns by one. Then it's the Charles Barkley show. Inside the lay-in to make it 96-91 Phoenix. Chuck had 19 rebounds. Richard Dumas led the way with 31 points. Nice dunk there. Barkley finishes it off with a sweet J. 121-105. Suns win. Well, I just, opportunities were there. We, we went out and played well. That's what we had to do the fourth quarter. We just controlled it. And that's what helped us win. We won the game, and uh, now, you know, we're in a good situation to play uh, for the rest of the season. And with the rest of the season in mind and the postseason, could it be the Bulls the Suns will meet in the title thing? I don't know. I'll tell you what, right here against the Blazers, Clyde the Glide Drexler looks good for Portland, but Michael Jordan with his jam, he had 34 doubles by 10 over the Blazers. College hoops this afternoon. Take a look at what went on down in Tucson. Jason Kidd and the California Golden Bears come visiting, but number eight Arizona is too tough. Ed Stokes, nice jig, 32-24 catch. Later, Chris Mills serves it up on a tray. 93-81, U of A prevails. The rain that Jim Snaybelt expects here tomorrow was falling this afternoon at Pebble Beach for the final round of the AT&T Pro-Am, where an international golfer takes the win. Take a look at the crowds, the rain, and the surf at Pebble Beach. And oh yeah, the golf. Lee Jansen, his approach on 15. Lee Jansen won last week here in Phoenix, remember? He, he really didn't do much today. Billy Ray Brown had a chance to do something, but the bogey man caught up with him. Here on 13, his bogey opened the door for Australian Brett Ogle. And Ogle ogles that putt and wins 225K, his first tour victory, as he takes the Pro-Am. 
Now, let us show you the dream game this afternoon. You thought everybody was watching the Suns? Nah, they went out to see the dream game. And look at Gene Kleins of the 71 Pirates. Vapor, one nothing buckos. That's right, a home run. But the A's would rally. Mike Hagan here with the double to left. It brings home Campy, Burt Campanaris. But guess what? The Pirates of 1971 beat the A's of 1971 four to three in the World Series that wasn't. What a classic, though. It was good. <laughs> more on the Dream Game and more stuff tonight at 10. Thanks, J.D. Thanks for the flag. And stay with us. We'll be right back. If you've been waiting to buy a new home, here's a good reason to jump in now. Because the Backyard Bonus is back. Which means you can choose from valuable bonus packages, even a Shasta pool in many communities. Either way, you come out ahead, and that's very refreshing news. The Backyard Bonus from Shea Homes. Shea Homes, you're building confidence in me. Midway Chevrolet sells more new cars and trucks than any other dealer in Arizona. We're number one because of our low everyday price specials. Like this brand new 93 Lumina Eurosport for only $13,999 with a V6 automatic cassette, power windows, tilt, and cruise. This is just one example of the price specials you'll find every day. So shop Chevy at Midway Chevrolet Geo on Bell Road at I-17. See you there. Now we've been your neighbor through thick and through thin. We've been there before, we'll be there again, let's work together. Come on, come on, let's work together. For 90 years, Salt River Project has worked in partnership with customers and the community. It will always be our goal to be known as a company that makes a difference. Let's work together. Come on, come on, let's work together. You know what makes Harris Laughlin such a great deal right now? Besides that, okay, I'll tell you. Right now, you can stay at Harris Laughlin for a terrific room rate. Wow, well, was right. You're staying at Harris Casino Hotel in Laughlin, the only one with a beach. Great rooms, tasty restaurants, all that fun. The beach, and so affordable. You should get over here right now. Harris Casino Hotel Laughlin, the better people place. Call this number for reservations. And come see the sand, man. Here's tomorrow's Channel 10 News KTAR Newsmaker name. Listen tomorrow morning at 7.20 to Arizona's Morning News on KTAR 6.20 a.m. to find out when to call in and when. There's more to come on the Channel 10 News at 10. Here are some of the stories we'll have for you then. There's a migration of people to our state, and they're not snowbirds. They're coming here to roost for good. Where are they coming from and why? We'll explain at 10. Also, a dream relived at Phoenix Stadium for some baseball greats from the past. Join us for that and more at 10. A big but adorable, look cuddly looking Bengal tire, tiger named Lucknow got, of all things, a root canal today. Lucknow apparently broke one of his big, big teeth while chewing on a bone. With instruments in hand, vet, veterinarians at the Miami Metro Zoo performed the surgery, but only after immobilizing the 440 pound white tiger. Good idea. Yikes. <laughs> See you at 10. Good night.